Many of us are familiar with the physical side effects of cancer treatment, especially the loss of hair. The emotional impact these changes have on women living with cancer can be huge. Over the past 25 years, the program Look Good, Feel Better has helped hundreds of thousands of women in coping with their changed appearance, self-esteem, and outlook. Two women who know firsthand about the value of the program are author and women's health advocate, Gerilyn Lucas, and volunteer and beauty expert, Linda Whitehurst. Good morning to you, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. Gerilyn, let's start with you. You are a breast cancer survivor, and I love the name of your book, Why I Wore Lipstick to My Mastectomy. Tell us a little bit about your personal experience with your cancer treatment and why lipstick was such an important piece of it. Thank you, and thanks for wearing bright red, Kayla. Well, I never thought I was one of those women who could pull off bright red lipstick. I was a gloss girl, but the morning of my mastectomy, it was the day after my 28th birthday, I found my lump, I had no family history. I just, I looked down at the hospital gown, and I realized I wanted to appear in the operating room. I wanted to be hopeful, and I wanted to become the woman I never thought I could be. So I wore my bright red, and when they woke me up seven hours later in recovery, it lasted. I think that look good, feel better is the same principle for women. It's giving them a chance to reinvent themselves and to take back some control during such a traumatic time in a woman's life. And this program is free. Women who are watching can log on to lookgoodfeelbetter.org. They can find a program in your area. They get this beautiful makeup kit and they're around a beauty expert, licensed beauty expert like Linda, who will give you tips on, you know, how to put your eyebrows back on when you've lost them from chemotherapy. Um, I remember my skin turned so green and I went to the office every day. I wanted to look like myself. So it's a really remarkable program. We're celebrating 25 years since this program has been around. So for many of the women losing their hair and those other side effects of cancer treatment, they really can be devastating. We all love the way that we look. So how critical are appearance, confidence, and attitude when we're actually undergoing cancer treatment? Does that make women more successful and ready to fight? I think that being able to look like yourself again, you know, going to the office and um, really being able, it was interesting. I heard a story of a woman who went through the program. She worked at a hotel and she was around strangers all day long and she didn't want to have to answer questions. Are you sick? What's going on? And she just felt like it gave her back just some dignity where she could kind of proceed as normal. I know that Linda could share a lot of those types of transformative stories. I think that even you hear from moms who their kids are so scared when they lose their hair and being able to look like themselves again when they pick up their kids at school, it's, it's really such a gift. Yeah, Linda, I want to talk to you about your involvement with Look Good, Feel Better because you've been involved in for almost 25 years and, of course, a big milestone today. Tell us a little bit more about the program and how you're celebrating that milestone in Nashville. Well, the volunteers are the backbone of this program. We have over 6,000 beauty professionals that are doing this program nationwide. And we go into a, a two-hour workshop that gives the women these tools to go through their 12-step makeover. And it's not just doing their makeup. It's giving them tips on how to deal with their hair loss and to learn how to use turbans, wigs, scarves, and hats so that they look natural, and how to put their makeup on when they don't have lashes left, using the liner to look like they've got lashes, and putting their eyebrows on with a pencil in soft, easy little overlapping strokes so that it looks like hair and so it's not a drawn on line, giving them the frame of their face back. So it is, it gives them the empowerment to take control instead of the cancer controlling them. Well, congratulations on the big milestone, 25 big years for Look Good, Feel Better. I got my red lipstick in my hand, Gerilyn. We are totally matching today. So congratulations to you. And one more time, a website where our viewers can find more information. Go to lookgoodfeelbetter.org and you can type in your zip code if you're looking for a program and it will give you the exact location of the program nearest you. If you want to volunteer, you can also sign up right there online. All right, ladies, blowing you a kiss Mwah! with my red lips. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. All right, Mike, we'll send it over to you.